Oh, oh, there we go. Thank you, Daniel. Huh. I mean, he messed up the title, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You know. uh, yeah, my name is Gustavo Sana. I'm the student ministries director for uh, both. Oh, there is a, literally a picture of me. That is embarrassing. Uh, of uh, both Life Point and Eastside. And uh, at the end of June, I had the privilege of leading an incredible group of both students and adults. Uh, to Wyoming, to Riverton, Wyoming. So I'm going to invite the a bit of the team up here. Uh, can you please uh, give it up for this this team right here? Oh yeah, everyone, come on up. Look at them. Look at these studs. And so yeah, I had uh, I had the privilege of this is not the entire team, but a majority of it, uh, of the team. I had the privilege of uh, leading us to Riverton, Wyoming, to the Wind River Reservation. Uh, we were one of, I believe, five or six churches that all met, to get, uh, met together in uh, Riverton, Wyoming, and stayed at a church, First Baptist Riverton. There at that church, uh, we served two Native American tribes, the Arapaho and Shoshone. These are tribes that live in the Wind River Reservation. Uh, and in that we got to the students, the high school students, uh, paired up with other students from other churches and led uh, high school led vacation Bible schools for all the for all the kids there. Uh, in that the kids were told clearly about Jesus uh, and also kind of had a really good camp throughout the week. Uh, we got time together to sit and, and think through devotions in the morning. And then afterwards in the afternoon, we would go and the devotion that we thought about, we, we took time meditating on, we would go and then share with the kids out there, ultimately pointing them to Christ. And uh, with that, we were able to connect um, our students with the kids there, but then we were able to connect with family members there. And uh, those family members who lived in the Vacation Bible Schools, we had a local contact from the church that we were staying at, we were able to connect with them so that the discipleship would keep on going on afterwards after we left and so it's a really really cool trip um, and I just want to thank you guys for supporting it um, but to get a little glimpse of the trip uh, we have two people who are going to share two students who are going to share with us this morning the first is Hannah Hannah has he's going to share a little bit about her trip experience hello I'm Hannah and I'm the student director for Riverton Wyoming Christian Center and how I saw the Lord work in me was one day, or it's our like last day at the VBS site. Um, I saw this sad like little boy sitting on the swings all by himself. And so I decided I'd go walk over to him and talk to him. So then I asked him a few deeper, or not deeper, but I asked him a few questions about Jesus and he was able to answer some, but then we got called over to play some games and crafts. And then after those games and crafts, um, one of our like leaders decided to read a couple of Bible verses since like the kids previously got some Bibles that day. And so um, then I decided I'd read that little kid, Romans 10, 9, which talks about putting your faith in Jesus. So I went back over to the swings and like talked to him, read him the verse, and then asked him a few more deeper questions about Jesus. and asked him if um, he believes that Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins, and he said, yes, he does. And then he asked me um, if he could put his faith in Jesus, and I was like, well, do you believe that? And he was like, yeah, I do. So then I prayed over him, I gave him a big hug, and then um, he said, thank you. And then um, he went from being like one of the saddest kids on the site to one of the happiest after he put his faith in Jesus. So that just showed me how God works in all of us and what he can really do. Romans 10 9. We talked about Romans 10 9 in one of our devotions, so it's cool that you took that and then shared that with one of the students. Thanks, Hannah. Oh, and then uh, the second person who's going to share is one of your own here, Mr. Joaquin J. Rod Rodriguez. <laughs> Well, yeah, um, Joaquin or J-Rod, whatever you want to say, I'm cool with both. Um, I just want to start by saying thank you for um, the continued prayer and support, because um, without all of you guys here, I would not have been able to go uh, to Wyoming again. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, this is my second year going, 
And last year, um, I got to make a, a friend um, at one of the sites. His name was Blaze. And it was more so just a friendship. I never got the opportunity to talk to him about God. And I really um, was kind of upset with myself for not being able to create an opportunity for that. So this year, I took it upon myself um, through prayer. And I think God really gave me the opportunity and he blessed me um, with the heart to really share um, what God has done for him and what God can do for me and what God does for everybody. So I got to really share the gospel with him. And um, <laughs> he never knew how to pray. So I really got to uh, watch him grow um, as he prayed over all the kids. Uh, he led prayer and he even got to lead a little, some thing called the Evangel Cube that Minnesota brought. It's a, it's a gospel for kids, almost all in like a little cube where you can like, like almost like a Rubik's cube, but like it shows um, all the elements that you need for the gospel. And he got to share that with all the kids. And I think that was really cool. Um, I think that God really got to work in him. And I got to really see how well um, a couple of words go and how like any kid really just needs to be taught to about God and they can do whatever um, God puts on their heart. So it's, it was really cool seeing how God grew um, upon him. So, yeah. And yeah, church, this is, this is just kind of a few little pictures or examples of, of uh, what this